Yes, sir. It's funny. I was supposed to make a video about this a couple months ago. Got sidetracked and whatnot. It is what it is. Pertaining to the chick that's involved in this video, I got a couple more videos coming her way. Brothers, got to understand, don't get caught off guard. Don't get thrown off of your square and whatnot when you find out that majority of the modern females are so nonchalant, so off when it comes to their bodies because they think it's body positivity, it's woman empowerment. When they're trying to take the shame out of all of their actions, they feel like shaking their ass, twerking every chance they get, doing all of these challenges, sleeping around, so casual with it is okay. They think that's a good thing because they feel like that's what men do. They feel like men can play Big Willie, sleep around, and that's just okay because society is used to that. Meanwhile, they look at it as the woman has to do this, the woman has to do that. They don't understand that you're stretching your walls out. They have all of these conversations and women are getting glorified by being whores in today's era. You're getting notoriety for being a hoe. <laughs> Who would have thought? But things are turning upside down quicker than you thought. We don't want brothers to get thrown off guard to where you view having sex with the individual as something, but the person on the other end doesn't view it as such. They're sampling different penises that if yours ain't hitting the spot like the last one, then they're on to the next to go search for that itch. That's just the way it is. Brothers is like, damn, I thought getting inside of the walls is supposed to mean something, but not for these women majority in these days. We got a woman right here who's just about to say that she got an outrageous body count. And in all honesty, I'm not really throwing off my square because being a thought is being glorified. Disciples of Cardi B, left and right. How many girls are on your timeline putting up a post from one of these bozos and bozettes? Anybody that panders to this lifestyle. And then on the flip side, they want to embrace being a whore, sleeping around, conquering dudes, and then got the nerve to talk about abortion. Miss me with the bullshit. Let's check it out. Oh, going, no. I have nothing to do with one this. Question. One question. Wheezy. There's a lot of numbers. You said over 50. There's a lot Men of numbers and women. over 50. There's a lot of what? There's a lot of numbers over 50. Put your 50. lips on the mic. How you had got all this experience and don't know to put your lips I on the mic? I don't know what to do. Um, you said over 50. There's I, Between 50 and 75. That's, oh, not, that's okay. my... <laughs> I mean, dude... <laughs> The way that she's saying is so nonchalantly as if that's just an average number. That means that you're going to meet females in today's era. And basically their age times two minus two is the amount of dudes and females they slept with because majority of females in today's era are pansexuals. Those ones that are rocking the bull rings, you know, the one that's right in the middle of their nose, they're doing it all. It doesn't matter. They're no hoes bar with it. You got this chick that just came on the mic and just said between 50 and 75. A lot of dudes are like, damn. A lot of dudes are like, wow, she might be cute. All of this shit. But listen, a lot of these girls have low self-esteem, especially living in New York. All of these big cities when they're just a small fish in the big ocean. <laughs> you can't be a big fish in a little pond. They have low self-esteem comparing themselves to all of these quote-unquote IG models and whatnot to where they feel like they got to fill the void by sleeping with so many dudes. They have followers. They are supporters of Amber Rose. All of these quote-unquote underdog stories that are telling women to do what you want with your body. It doesn't matter. And then these women, why, then these women wonder why they're bugged out. So many dudes DNA is inside of your walls that you don't know right from left. You don't know which options to choose from. That's the issue. <laughs> dudes got to choose wisely when it comes to dealing with these females. We all get it. We're going through dry spells and whatnot. But dude, <laughs> all vagina ain't worth it. That's my real number. I wouldn't. I mean, I know fucking, normally bro. you multiply you by fucking. three. But... Do you count? Like, do you keep like a tally? I have a tally in my phone. Really? Yeah. She started Only 75 she, she started dicks? How old are you, Wizzy? I'm about to be 30 in a month. Do the dick math, oh, Wax. No! 30, do it. 75. Well, see, that's, that's like seven a year for I'm 10 years. I'm a free spirit. <laughs> when did you start? What? And I've had threesomes, so that's a few at a time. Well, you know what I mean? 70 a year? 70 a year for 10 years. I keep that count only because... 
we got to understand the era that we're in that like women are just so proud to talk about this type of shit. Women are so proud to put on their stories, on their feeds, all of this goofy, freaky type shit. And then they want to be respected. Then they wonder why dudes only approach them one way. They wonder why they're throwing tantrums on the Internet talking about niggas ain't shit because they ain't shit themselves. How are you going to sleep around with so much men and none of them are your man? Men, brothers cannot be surprised with what you're dealing with in today's era, especially with the music that is being played and the quote unquote role models that are being displayed. I don't know how much that is. Dick every two months. Nah, because I've had long term boyfriends. So maybe when I'm hoeing, I'm really hoeing. When'd you lose your virginity? Uh, 16. 16. So 16 to 30. So 15 years, 75. Do the math. So how Three sums I've had a lot of. We've, I fucked a lot of bitches last year. Uh, no, sorry, the year that we were open, so 2019. Maybe like 10 in there. I don't think women count in this equation. Mm. <laughs> Yo, yeah, because women don't count. Just track the women out of this. We only counting Yo, dicks. This is dick math. I just math. saw Mandy's wig, and you need to really let go of them fucking Dalmatians, yo. The wife, the lady, right? The mom. Cruella DeVille. Stop trying to kill all the Dalmatians, man. The dog owner. Stop trying to kill all the fucking Dalmatians. That's animal abuse. <laughs> We're going to do the Horrible Decisions porn, 101 Dicks, starring Wheezy and Mandy. Mandy going to be Cruella DeVille. Like back in the day, if some dudes would have heard some shit like this, this is why it just shows you who panders to this behavior and who's really going to call it out. Like back in the day, if some dudes really would have heard some shit like that, besides the dudes that are thirsty, they're going to talk to you when all of the guys bounce, leave the classroom, wherever it is. Those dudes are going to be like, damn, man, use a jump off all of those names that that girl needs to hear. But these dudes glorify this shit. It doesn't surprise me at all. You have this dude, CT the Devil, who's on The Breakfast Club, 105.1. They play nothing but demonic music. And then they then they got the nerve to attack anybody that talks anything about their network anything about their activity bunch of hypocrites and whatnot a bunch of luciferians that just telling everybody to do what you want to do then when you contract something then when you end up pregnant and whatnot you want to play the victim on the other side because it's the man's fault that you're being a hoe because you can't tell that you're going to get pregnant in six weeks when you've been fucking dudes and women for the past five to six weeks to where you can't even keep count anymore brothers tread lightly <laughs> It's real spooky out here. It's enough of that, though. Modern women don't even know how much dudes they're sleeping with nowadays because they have the wrong messages. They have the wrong people that they're following. So dudes, be easy. You might be going through that dry spell. Is it worth it? I'm out.